Hello my keto peeps, it's Samaya and welcome back to my channel, I Don't Sugarcoat. Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make my maple brown sugar waffles. So let's get started. Before we get started, this video today is sponsored by Wholesome Provisions. Wholesome Provisions is a company located locally here in the US and they specialize in making keto friendly foods. Things like chips and cereal and chocolate chips and one of my favorites right now is their brand of lupin flour. They also make a ton of other things so please check out their website, check out their stuff on Amazon. I will also be leaving a link to the um, for this for their lupin flour here because I really do think this stuff is great you guys and you know that I only like to bring you guys the best so let's go ahead and jump into today's recipe we're gonna start off by mixing our dry ingredients you guys and lately I've been playing around with a lot of flours and changing things up and so that's how I was able to come upon my pancake and waffle recipe playing around with different ingredients we're gonna start today with using um some lupin flour here in here i have one fourth plus two tablespoons of lupin flour and this is the miracle flour that i will be using today and i am really really liking this stuff you guys so i'm going to put that into my bowl next i'm going to be using a fourth of a cup of pea protein you guys and I've cooked with pea protein before and I started off using the Anthony's brand but now you guys my new flip <laughs> my new favorite is the Terrasol brand I, I don't know it just it has a little bit of a different texture I think because it really has brought to life the recipes that I've used in it whereas the Anthony's version did not so I really love their pea protein and it also is zero net carbs. So I'm gonna be adding a fourth of a cup to my waffles. Now, if you saw my pancake video, you will know that I use um, a flour called Urad flour in that one. And Urad is a, it's in the um, lentil family. So I do like using that for my waffle recipe as well. And I would have used it today, however, I'm looking to keep these a lower carb. You read flour is, it's still a low carb flour, but it's much higher in carbs than lupin flour and the zero net carb protein, uh, pea protein. So we're gonna be using that. And I also wanna show you guys how that cooks up as a substitute. So I wanted to show you the pancakes with the u -rad and the waffles with the pea protein. So next, we're going to be adding two tablespoons of um, vital wheat gluten. Now, we're gonna be adding in, I have a little smorgasbord of stuff right here. I have three fourths of a teaspoon of some baking powder. I have a quarter teaspoon of some baking soda. I have one sixteenth of a teaspoon of um, xanthan gum. And then I have um, one sixteenth of a teaspoon of some vitamin C, and I I think it's called um, ascorbic acid. I think I'm not sure, but I will leave a link for it. You guys, this stuff is working wonderfully to help to um, preserve the life of my baked goods and things like that. And I have half a teaspoon of some pink Himalayan salt here, and I'm going to throw that into my bowl. And we're just gonna give our dry mixture here a quick mix together. Now, if you don't wanna make this into um, a maple brown sugar flavor, you can just totally just do vanilla and just add a bit of sweetener to it. But I really love I really love this flavor, you guys, and I hope you guys are gonna love it too. 
Okay, so now what we wanna do is, we are gonna be blending this in our blender. It just makes it so much easier, you guys. It just comes together so much better than if you do it in a bowl. I find that the texture is a bit off when you just mix it together in a bowl. So at the very least, if you can't do it in a blender, please use a hand um, a hand whisk or something, a food processor or something, because you really want your batter to be really thick and rich and creamy for it to turn out very well. Okay, we want to start off with a half a cup of some buttermilk. And as you know, buttermilk has way too many carbs for keto. So we are going to make something to mimic buttermilk. We're gonna be using a half a tablespoon of vinegar, you guys, is going into my cup here. And now I've got my cashew milk here. And you guys know that that is my fave. It's what I like to use most. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up just to the half a cup mark. Okay, and then we're gonna give this just a quick little mix. Now you can let this sit in the refrigerator if you want, but you really don't have to. I don't find that you have to. I just make it right when I need it and it seems to work just fine. So we're gonna start by adding our imitation buttermilk into the blender. Next, we wanna add some half and half and you guys, you probably have heard me talk about this in the vanilla ice cream video and the pancake video if you saw that this is an alternative half and half and I really love this stuff it has less carbs than the original stuff so I would suggest you guys getting some of this I'm going to add this fourth of a cup here to our imitation buttermilk and now we want to add one eighth of a cup of an oil that you prefer I would say use um, I'm using grapeseed oil. You can use some um, avocado oil, maybe even some um, good quality saf safflower, yeah, safflower oil, something like that. Anything other than olive oil, I would say. And so now we're gonna add two teaspoons of maple extract. I have some butter vanilla bakery emulsion and I just love the way this makes my pancakes and my waffles taste and so I always add this to it if you don't have any on hand and you want to make this it's fine you don't have to use this and now I have here one egg that we're going to add and then we're going to be adding um three tablespoons of some brown swerve and we're going to add this to our wet ingredients instead of our dry i mean we're going to put it all together but i like to do it separately from the dry ingredients i add it to the wet first and now we're going to add our dry ingredients in and i like to um Blend this on high for one minute and let it get all nice and rich and thick and a perfect batter, you guys. Okay, our waffle iron is all nice and hot and ready to go. Now I've got a little mini waffle iron here and I love this thing because it really promotes portion control, you guys. That is such a big thing with me for my keto. I'm gonna go ahead and start off pouring this batter into here. And I usually get nine from this batter. Um, strange thing is when I make it with the URAD flour, I get about 10 or 11, but for some reason the pea protein only gives me nine. But the pea protein, you guys, has better carb count. I think for four, no, you know what, I think like, one day I was having breakfast and I didn't have as many eggs and bacon left. So I want to steal up my protein. So I added more of these waffles because I usually eat about four of them, but I only had like two pieces of bacon. I would usually eat like four of these waffles with like three or four pieces of bacon and three eggs. But I literally had two eggs, two pieces of bacon, and so I went ahead and added two extra waffles to my plate. 
and that was like four net carbs you guys for six of these little things that's how great the numbers are on these little waffles and i just love them i'm not kidding these things are addictive i'm going to tell you that right now so you're going to want to be careful with these things because i ate these for like a week straight and it was hard for me to stop eating them <laughs> look at that you guys those look great now sometimes i do overfill them sometimes Ugh. it can be annoying i try to get it perfectly but i don't always but look at these things seriously they are super super fluffy they are super super gorgeous and they're so cute and tiny that portion size is just absolutely perfect oh you guys, a plate of these, I'm telling you, these are going to be the best waffles you have had since you've started keto. I am not kidding. These are the best that I've had. And not to say that there aren't better out there. I'm saying for me, they're the best I've had. All right. And this is the last one, you guys. look at them they look and smell fantastic i hope you guys can get a good look at these from above because they are so cute can you see them from the front you guys they look fantastic so i'm just gonna go ahead and plate a few of these here now i can't eat them right now because it is not my eating window However, I just want you guys to see how gorgeous these things look and how I like to dress them up. So first, I like to just, you know, usually I've got my eggs and bacon on the plate, but since we don't have that right now, I'm just going to go ahead and put them on the plate like so. Oh. They smell so good. I wish I could eat these. And now we're just gonna go ahead and drizzle on a little bit of syrup. And now here comes my favorite part, you guys. I love topping them with some maple whipped cream, you guys. And while I did not include how to make this in the video, I will leave a link and I'll post um, the recipe for this. And it's really simple, but I'll post the recipe for this on my website. So that way you guys will be able to make this if you want. I just like to add just a little bit of this right on the center there. Oh, can you guys see that? This looks fantastic fantastic it smells so good and i'm just gonna cut into one of these just so you guys can have a look see and the temptation of this i want you guys to know is is really bad right now but i do this for you look at look at that can you see I don't know if the camera is focusing on it. I hope it is. But these babies look beautiful. Can you see that? The syrup is all dripping off of them. Oh, I totally wish I could bite into this. These are delicious. I'm not even kidding you. And you know what? I'm just going to look on my phone really quick just so I can give you the nutritional facts right now because they not only taste good, but when you use the um, the pea protein for these, oh, the the carb count is phenomenal, like really phenomenal, you guys. You know, it's the carb count alone that makes me prefer 
the pea protein version over the URAD version, even though I like the texture of that a little bit better, you just can't beat the carb count on these with the pea protein. Okay, so for one, for one waffle, you guys, that's going to be 69.3 calories. It's going to be 0.7 carbs, net carbs. And it's going to be 5.8 protein and 4.8 fat. You, you're just not going to be able to beat numbers like that for waffles. And while, like I said, the URAD flour does make a little bit of a difference in texture, and I would certainly say do it every once in a while to treat yourself and just to get a little bit of practice using the URAD flour if you're looking for something a little bit different to add to your kitchen. The having these waffles with the pea protein, it it's such a guilt-free way to enjoy them because a serving of four, a serving of four, you guys, is 2.7 net carbs. You can't beat that. So give these a try, you guys. I think you're gonna love them. I think they're absolutely delicious. I think you're going to think they're absolutely delicious. Use whatever size waffle iron you like. If you do happen to use um, the Belgian waffle kind, put it in the description of the video because I don't see myself making it that way anytime soon. But I would love to know how it turns out as a Belgian waffle, just in case one day I'm trying to treat myself. So, that's going to be all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to click that subscribe button and ding that little bell so you can get notifications every time I upload a new video. And until next time, you guys, bye.